HPD is investigating a shooting in the AIA area that sent a 55-year-old man to the hospital. Officers were called to that area. This is on Kohumua Street around 1.15 this morning. The victim was shot in his right pelvis area. The suspect is on the run and is identified as a male possibly wearing a cream-colored hoodie. Going to bring you any new developments from this story. Honolulu police have opened an attempted murder case against a man accused of trying to use a deadly weapon on officers. This happened last Sunday night on Kamehameha Highway in the Wahiwa area. Police say the 29-year-old suspect was in a stalled car being helped by bystanders. They told officers the driver seemed confused. When officers stepped in to help, the man allegedly became combative with some kind of deadly instrument. Police gained control and arrested the man who now faces numerous charges. The so-called Miski Enterprise trial is now down to one, Mike Miski alone. He is accused of being a criminal mastermind, but his lawyers say that he's really the victim of a government conspiracy. In opening arguments yesterday, the prosecution said that Miski's enterprise, quote, used fear, violence and intimidation to get what he wanted. What he wanted was money, control and revenge. End quote. The prosecution aims to prove the enterprise was involved in everything from illegal fireworks to the murder of Jonathan Fraser, whom Miski allegedly blamed for his son's death. Before the trial began, Miski's half brother entered a surprise guilty plea as part of a deal. It makes sense. He's going to get credit for pleading guilty. He's got a bunch of charges dismissed. And so it's definitely to his benefit to argue at sentencing, hey, look, I accepted responsibility before trial started. The trial was intended to last several months, but it could be a lot shorter now because only one set of attorneys will be calling and cross-examining witnesses. And as far as the surf, we got a new swell that's going to be picking up in the afternoon. So a high surf advisory has been extended for north and west shores. And with those winds picking up today, it might be pretty good early, but it might be a little choppy in the afternoon. And that's why the south shore is expecting a boost with those stronger winds and a, a wrap of that swell. So again, fairly dry today with breezy winds getting stronger in the afternoon. Now, as that front drops in, those winds will get even stronger tomorrow, 15 to 30 with some stronger gusts. We could get some spotty power outages, especially for windward areas of Oahu and uh, Kauai. And then slowly, conditions will start drying up. Still a little damp for Maui County on Thursday. And then by Friday, statewide should be fairly dry. But another cold front is expected in sometime around Monday. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.